Mark, FA Cup weekend. It's always a, you know an exciting time for for any club, and it's always you know a week that weekend that's marked on everyone's calendar. So, what are your thoughts ahead of ahead of this weekend? Yeah, listen, we best cup competition in the world, so uh, one we're excited to uh, be a part of. Uh, we've got a really really big tough challenge ahead of us. Um, Chelmsford riding high in the conference and the conference south. Uh, I think they've lost one game this season. Uh, know their manager, and their assistant manager. Uh, you know, really good football people, and um, they're you know really getting their their style and their team um, rolling out some great performances. So a real a real tough challenge. Um, one we we're well aware of. Um, one that we're well aware of the implications that it can have for a football club in in winning financially and also. Uh, you know, I was, I was part of a, a great cup run here once before, and I know how much that was needed for the club at that time, and really galvanised the club. So we're certainly looking to, you know, go on, go on a cup run, but we're going to have to be our absolute best. This is a, a national league game, not an, um, you know, when we treat it like one. You know, they're riding high. They've got lots of experience. Um, you know, namely, you know, Dave Winfield, who I played with in my first spell here, who's had a, a great career, played in the league. Obviously, Trotto come from Bromley has had another fantastic career, along with Simeon Jackson, who's played in the in the Premiership. So they've got some really good, experienced players, and um, one which hopefully that will bring out the best in us. You know, we know what we're facing. We know it's going to be a tough game, and we've just got to execute our roles and responsibilities, keep our concentration and focus, um, stick to our game plan, and um, make sure we do everything we can to win the game. Yeah, as you say, they've got experience in their side, but um, as we've learned this morning, there's a bit of experience coming into our side with the signing of Kenny Davis. Mm -hmm. uh, Francis and Marty, of course, joining Farnborough um, for a month in, as, as part of that deal. So can you t tell us more about uh, your thinking behind that, that transfer? Yeah, I think, look, it's no, it's no secret. We're probably the young, young, one of the youngest groups in the, in the league and we're learning and we've got some real potential, real quality. Um, but I feel that we sadly missed Joe Partington and Josh McCoy with their injuries, obviously captain and vice-captain. Um, we brought Tom Whelan in. Um, he's he's gone back to Chesterfield. He's gone back in house there. So I feel that we're we're light in central midfield areas. I feel we're light with sort of some experienced players. And I think a set, an experienced central midfielder that is Kenny Davis. He's he's um, you know nearly 500 national league games. So he's he's certainly got the pedigree. Um, you know we're. He's, he's coming in, he, he's fit and he's ready, but we're going to have to be a bit careful where he's, he's been out a for a, a little period of time. But um, I think it suited all parties. We needed that part of the jigsaw. Francis Amati probably needs a run of games now to get his match speed where he's just been having some minutes here or there. So we're always not wanting to let Franny out, but it's come to the point that he needs match minutes to build his match fitness up so he can kick on. So, um, you know, it's needs, needs must as well. Um, and, you know, we're... we're Really looking forward to seeing Kenny in a in an old shot shirt, and of course, um, going back to the FA Cup, you've had brilliant memories yourself, you know, against Portsmouth back in the day. So, so is 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 it all about you know seeing our players make a name for themselves in in this competition? Does it provide that opportunity, doesn't it? Absolutely, it's such a big opportunity. The FA Cup it provides so much, like I alluded to earlier, like the financial side, but the confidence and the togetherness it can breed within a community, you know, and chasing that big that big magical tie. But to get there, you've got to take care of business and we've got to be fully focused. We can't get caught up in the emotion of it or what could be. We've got to make sure we we really stick to our our roles and responsibilities, our game plan throughout the game. Um, and we certainly show huge potential already this year, but unfortunately we've shown some naivety and immaturity at the moment. And they're the bits we're looking to work to cut cut out. And then we're going to have a, you know, going forward, we'll have a real strong team. And well, I guess the second half against Scunthorpe was a real example of, of, of what we can do this season and, and what we can show. So, it, it, you know, if, if, is it all about, has this week been all about, you know, saying to the lads, let's, let's do that again, let's, let's show that performance again? I think it's certainly taking the positives out of it, but it's also learning, learning lessons as well. And um, we're certainly getting taught some harsh ones. This is what this league's about. It's a tough, it's a tough league. And, uh, you know, we feel that we're, we're growing and learning all the time. But, you know, points need to be put on the board. Wins need to happen. Um, for us to continue to progress. And of course, another sad loss this week. Um, Mick Pullen, a, a well-known and long-serving car park steward, sadly passed away. So we'll, we'll want to put a performance on for him as well. Won't we? Yeah, absolutely. An another real sad week for us. Um, you know, I, I remember Mick as a, as a player, as well as a manager, again, and, uh, you know, he's a real character. And, and again, put so many years service into the football club and he'll be really sad, sadly missed. And... Um, Absolute no consolation at all, but hopefully we can, 
you know, put on a performance and try and raise the mood momentarily. But, um, you know, it is one of sadness and our thoughts and, and prayers are with, with his family in this, in this tough time. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.